Oh, that reaction's quicker. That reaction's quicker. All right, so today we're going to be running a dehydration experiment. This is kind of one of the more interesting ones because there's a very visible reaction. We're going to be making what's called a carbon snake. And it's really simple, really. All you use is sugar. I got two kinds here. I got brown sugar, regular brown sugar, and some powdered white sugar. And quite frankly, I don't, I've never really seen if there's a big difference when you run this reaction, so I'm curious myself. Uh, the main chemical agent, which is sulfuric acid, this is pure stuff. Uh, it's got the skull and co it's got the skull and crossbones on it. You got to be really careful with this stuff. Glasses, gloves, and just space. If any fumes come off, you want them to go off into the air. Or if you got a fume hood, that works too. Just be safe with this stuff. And then lastly, uh, neutralization agent. This is just some baking soda I found. It's pretty expired by about three years, but it'll still do what I need it to do for this experiment. So I'm not really concerned about its functionality. So. Let's get to the experiment. Your beakers, or whatever you're using to contain the reaction. I prefer glass because it's inert. With about 100 milliliters, roughly, of sugar. And you don't have to be precise. It can help a little with the cleanup, I guess, but just a decent amount in there. And then feel free to kind of pat it down a little bit, because when we put in the sulfuric acid, there's going to be extra mixing anyway. So there's that. And that is the brown sugar. So it's got coarser grains. So theoretically, the reaction is going to be a little bit slower in that one. And then the powdered sugar gets the same treatment. And as you can tell, this one's a lot finer. So. I'm hoping that the reaction this one will be a little bit more vigorous. And side note, this is just more precautionary measure, but you can see this glass pan right here. And this glass pan is just nothing more than to protect the table around it. And just in case anything starts splashing out, you've got pretty good container. But we're only going to run one of these at a time, so we're going to start off with the brown sugar. And so now, we can start putting in the sulfuric acid. You know, have a glass stirring rod to help mix things together well. And you want to put in maybe just about equal volumes. So. Tap that off. You see it starting to turn black already on the surfaces. I'm going to give this a little head start. And it might take a minute, but reaction's going to kick off. It's starting to puff up slightly, and there you go. And that right there is a carbon snake. So now having done this one, let's see what the powdered sugar is going to do. Oh, that reaction's quicker. That reaction's quicker. That's a lot more aggressive. It didn't even give it time. It just went straight off. you can see a very, very easy and quick difference between the two. So now we see kind of the difference of the reactions. And if you look really closely, this one's a lot more solid. You still see the holes lining it, but the structure looks a lot more uniform, whereas this one, it's all over the place. You can see the sugar actually solidifying as it got reacted into place almost. Both of these are pure carbon. I still have to neutralize them a little bit, but and the beakers are still warm. So I'll put them down. Long story short, it's an interesting reaction that took place. And you took something that 
was a mixture of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and just made a pure carbon using a dehydration reaction. The sulfuric acid actually yanks the water out of the sugar and makes pure carbon. So I'm going to try doing something interesting with these a little bit later on. And side note, I can do these reactions here. Please don't try this stuff at home unless you really know what you're doing. I've got years of experience with this, and later on I hope to be publishing a couple of videos that are actually things you can do at your house with stuff that's a lot more safe. So, until then, thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe. If you got any comments or questions, add them down below. You'll have a good one. Hey guys, one last thing. So accompanying each one of these different videos, I'm going to try to make another video that will try to explain more or less what's actually going on. These are more the demonstration videos. The other videos are going to be more the science, the chemistry, the engineering, the physics, what's really going on behind the scenes. So for something like this, expect a couple of chemical equations, and I'm not going to go too in-depth because the truth of the matter is some of these things are so complex that it would take a really, really long series of lectures to do it, but I'll still give you a general idea of what's going on. For other things, though, I can get more technical because it's a series of equations or maybe it's just a couple of principles that interact with each other. But in any event, I hope you watch those too. And if you got any more questions, feel free to ask. Also, side note, big thank here to Eric Bustillo. He's the cameraman for this and hopefully we'll be producing a few more videos in the near future and something maybe a little bit more manageable and something that you all can do at home. Until then, thanks again, guys.